Our sea robbery is on the rise in Asia with 60 incidents in the first half of this year alone. That's two-fifths more than in the same period last year. The Recap Information Sharing Centre says nearly two-thirds occurred over the waters of the Straits of Malacca and Singapore. Hotspots are around Johor, Singapore, Batam and Bintan. Or the biggest increase comes from those in less severe cases, which are the bright blue and green dots. Culprits are usually in smaller numbers, unarmed or armed with knives and sticks. The crew were unharmed in these cases and the thieves made away with nothing or items such as scrap metal and machinery spares. Or to navigate this issue further, we have with us Mr. Krishna Swami Natarajan. He's the Executive Director of Recap at Recap Information Sharing Centre. Oh, Mr. Natarajan, we just mentioned that two thirds of these attacks are in the Straits of Malacca and Singapore. First question, an obvious one why this concentration in this part of Asia? And we did outline there the kinds of attacks we're seeing, but if you could add further detail for us. This is socio economic situation that is prevalent and that is aggravated due to the COVID pandemic, as also the less fish catch due to the climate change and coupled with the monsoonal uh, weather pattern. And the locals in the area of the littoral straits get to the robbery incidents mm. so as to make their livelihood. Mm. Considering the Singapore Strait is one of the major sh shipping, international shipping lane, which traverses almost 1,000 ships a day, and there are no dread of an opportunistic targets. And the criminals make their intent on a ship which are ill-prepared, which are low in freeboard, and who are slow-moving in the restricted waters. And the uh, uh, severity of the incidents are not that alarming. They are only petty theft. And when, as you made a mention, they invariably escape when noticed by the crew. Mm. If it is not, they pick up what is coming in their hand and making their livelihood. That's the situation which is providing. It's not serious or grave. Okay. Mr. Natarajan, what I hear you say is that these are more or less petty crimes of opportunity. Uh, by individuals who, you know, for want of uh, any other sort of means and, and, and an impact to their livelihoods, that they're doing this because of that. Uh, nonetheless, I mean, you know, we are a, an island nation. M many, you know, we have a, a sort of a boating culture as well. Should people be concerned at all about these, cr these attacks? Yeah, there, yes, it is a, certainly a concern because... Uh, the most of the incidents are happening in the Singapore Strait, and that is an area of concern. Since you have reported, it's almost 59 incidents which has happened in the first six months, which is more than the last uh, year's uh, record as of now. The situation, yes, it is grave, but it's not that severe. But what one needs to understand about the entire thing is, if a misadventure by the criminal getting into a bridge or other part of the ship, if the master of the crew gets uncomfortable or get into a threat situation, there can be a collision of mm. ships in the area because they are maneuvering at so close to each other. Mm -hmm. And that is going to be a dangerous situation which will lead into environmental disaster. And a, a, what we call that, you can even say that there can be a closure of the strait temporarily till the situation gets improved. So anything can happen. But that is only a grave situation. But the countries in the littoral states are certainly working towards it making their best efforts. They have made their uh, certain um, memorandum of understanding between the countries of the lateral states of Singapore, Malaysia and Indonesia to make sure that the safe navigation of ships, security measures are put in place and also environmental protections are taken care of. Uh, Mr. Natarajan, uh, in your answer to the first question, you outlined already for you your reasons uh, or, or rather your organization's reasons for this rise in sea robberies. So one of them, for example, the lifting of borders post-pandemic, uh, the fact that climate change means fishermen are less likely to be able to make a proper living just depending on fishing, uh, apart from other. Now, the, of the very many reasons that you mentioned, which do you think contributes the most to this problem and therefore the one that we should be paying the most attention to? See, actually, if you see the volume of traffic in the Singapore Strait is continuing to increase with the uh, easing of the pandemic, the maritime trade has increased. So there are far too many opportunities available for the people in the region who are not economically sound, who are looking to have their livelihood. 
And as I made a mention earlier, the COVID pandemic and also recession which has taken place and economic meltdown which is there in the region are all the various factors which tend to do it. And they just steal what? Ship stores, ropes, or whatever that comes into their hand. And sometimes it's engine spares. Well, thanks so much for coming in this evening and sharing your insights with us, Mr. Krishna Swami Natarajan, Executive Director at Recap Information Sharing Centre. Thanks for coming. Thank you.